John Stamos. Brad P I T T Pitt. John S T A M O S Stamos. Pitt. Stamos. Brad Pitt. John Stamos. Today we are going to be debating who is the ultimate 90s heartthrob. Hi, I'm Joe Jonas. I'm hyping the 90s heartthrob Brad Pitt. Heard of him? My name is Glenn Powell. Anytime you take on Brad Pitt, it's a hard day. But I'm bringing John Stamos to the table. I feel good about my odds. This debate will have an opening statement. Three rounds. A final closing statement. And one bull flag per side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Opening statement. Who is the ultimate 90s heartthrob and why? You have 30 seconds. There's obviously only one major heartthrob that comes to everyone's in mind, Brad Pitt, and here's why. Brad Pitt is not only a movie star, he's handsome as hell. He's a heartthrob, heart, he, he covers all the hearts. 12 pack, 16 pack maybe, gorgeous hair. You walk into any salon now, what picture do you see Brad Pitt? Cause you, you see Brad Pitt, you want that haircut. He eats in every movie. He still has a 12 pack. You bring up a lot of good points. <laughs> that was very impressive, Joe. Thank you. You have 30 seconds, go. John Stamos is obviously America's sweetheart, America's heartthrob, and the world's throbbing throb. The man has been making the world throb for all, not only a decade, he was throbbing in the 80s, he is now throbbing in the 90s. He was America's uncle, and then you had weird feelings for that uncle because he was so hot. He brought us a haircut, he brought us Uncle Jesse's guitar, and he brought us the fullest of house, and he's making me full house right now, I'm sorry. Got a little full in my house, if you know what I mean. That was pretty convincing. Yeah, you did bring up a great point with the 12 pack of it all. I was not thinking about Brad Pitt's abs. Yeah, that's a whole thing, you know? He's had them for quite some time. He probably was born with them. Do you want to know how many abs John Stamos has? Uh, not really, but now that you bring it up, please go on. I had a shower scene with John Stamos in a show called Scream Queens, oh. so I know how many abs he has. And? As many as you can have, that's how many John has. <laughs> Round one, style and personality. This round is all about the outward perception of your 90s heartthrob. You will have 60 seconds. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Brad Pitt, gorgeous man. Top of the head, hair, lots of it. He sometimes had hair that looked like the significant other that he was with. His eyes covered in beautiful glasses a lot of the time. 12 packs hiding underneath gorgeous clothes, leather jackets. Maybe worn by John Stamos, who knows? Beautiful pair of pants, always worn. Ripped denim, owned them. You know this guy. You've seen him on covers of magazines. You've seen him on posters of buildings. <laughs> he is created by God. And God said, You're welcome, world. This is the man we all need to be. Brad Pitt. Also, he has got fangs in that one movie. Aesthetically gorgeous. Can you name another sexy, ah, oh, Tom Cruise, God damn it. There's a lot of sexy vampires. <laughs> you went with the, are there any other sexy vampires? If we're gonna talk about a man of style, we're gonna start with John Stamos. Mm. That man brought us the fluffiest mullet in the history of time. We would be nowhere in terms of hair without John Stamos. He came through the door of the full house and he brought us Uncle Jesse and he brought us, it looked like a baby chick at first. It was just like adorably beautiful and then you realized it was raw sex. That's what John Stamos brought us with that haircut. In terms of style, we also have the leather jacket. That leather jacket was gone. Nobody was repping leather jackets. It's seen some, it's seen, it's seen some years. It was gone though. It was, an, it was iconic at one point and then people gave up on the leather jacket and here comes John Stamos. Uncle Jesse in the basement with his band, wearing the leather jacket, and my God, we felt things we hadn't felt in years. God damn it, John, you're so good. Your style, your personality, it shines through. And I'm so lucky you were born. <laughs> John Stamos is gonna call you after this. <laughs> 
Round two, body of work. This round is all about the decade-defining work of your 90s heartthrob. What makes your choice emblematic of the 90s? You have 60 seconds to make your argument. There are so many iconic Brad Pitt movies. I mean, where to begin? From the 90s alone. You got Fight Club, let's start there. Glistening six pack, 12 pack, 18 pack, 30 pack, okay? The guy was willing to chip his tooth for the role. So he's, he's in it, he's in it. Legends of the Fall, riding beautiful horses crying, his eyes out, showing raw emotion. Take notes, Glenn Powell. Seven, insanity. And he held it together. Thelma and Louise, one of my favorites. Gorgeous hitchhiker. I mean, where do we go? Where do we go from here? I don't know. Nominated how many times? Brad Pitt has all, all of it. Also, other movies that I can't remember right now. Brad Pitt's amazing. Red light means I'm almost out. Yeah. Can you name, how many John Stamos movies can you name? Glenn Powell. <laughs> there is not a more iconic TV show of the 90s than Full House. So nice, we had to do it twice. Full House, Fuller House. But let's go back to the OG. John Stamos, Uncle Jesse. America's uncle. He made hot music in a basement with his band and his wife loved it. <laughs> Aunt Becky, arguably the most iconic woman of the 90s as well. They're a power couple. Think about that. In one house with the Olsen twins, need I say more? And they lived in our homes every week. John Stamos lived in my house with my family. We ate dinner together. Hmm. What a concept. Where's Brad Pitt been? Does Brad Pitt eat dinner with your family? I don't think so. John Stamos is part of the Powell family. <laughs> I've had dinner with John Stamos. Have you? I have. I'm about to pull this flag right now. Google it. Give me, give me my flag. Bullshit on you too, Glenn. Is that right? You can't double bullshit. I can do That's whatever That's not how I want. it works. Somebody get to me pics of this dinner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't buy it. I don't buy it that this dinner it happened. happened. It happened. It happened many times. In the limited time that we've been Googling this, there are no photos of Joe Jonas and John Stamos having dinner together. Glenn Powell wins the bullshit. Fuck. Damn you, Glenn Powell. Google never lies. Joseph Jonas, round three, the test of time. This round is all about the cultural significance and legacy of your heartthrob. Has your 90s heartthrob stood the test of time? You have 60 seconds to state your case. Brad Pitt didn't win Sexiest Man of the Year once. He won it twice. In 1995, People Magazine called him the sexiest man alive. In 2000 something, he also was called the sexiest man alive. That is pretty damn impressive what you admit, that's pretty cool. He also constantly looks good. Bullet Train premiere, flawless. I want to know what he was wearing. What were those glasses? How does his hair stay in place when he's doing those twirl jumps? The guy takes off his clothes, it's like he's never aged. What does he do? What's his workout routine? What does he eat? I want to know. He doesn't just ride motorcycles around and get fit. He's got to be working out, right? He stand the test of time and he will always stand the test of time. I heard him say in an interview, he's getting into that era where he's the older man in, see, in the movies. I disagree, Brad. You keep showing us your sexy bod because I'll keep buying movie tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, Brad Pitt in a kilt was unexpectedly heartthrobby. I didn't know that was inside of me and when he did the twirl in the kilt. Kilt me, daddy. I agree. Kilt me, daddy. All right, Glenn, round three. Keep up. You have 60 seconds on the clock to state your case. When we talk about aging well, there are two words we use. It is John, sometimes with a word in the middle, and Stamos. <laughs> he is defying time. The man looks so Good. It's unbelievable. Stamos has the secret of youth running through his veins, and my God, we are lucky for it. I don't feel like I've aged a day. Every time I look in his eyes, when my family's having dinner with him, 
I say, my gosh, you look as good as you did in the 90s, John. And not to bring up the aforementioned shower scene that I did with John where I did see his lower Stamos. My God, that hasn't aged a day either. Still looks as good as the 90s. And not to bring up the unlimited abs he has. We didn't see it in the 90s. That was television, family television. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, oh. Is that, is that a wedding ring? All this Brad Pitt talk. <laughs> Closing argument, this is your last chance to defend your ultimate 90s heartthrob. Make your final statement for why your heartthrob owned the decade. You will have 30 seconds. I want to start with a compliment. I love John Stamos. He's a handsome fellow. He owned television. I will give that to you. Brad Pitt, however, he's owned a lot of lives. He is the man of hearts. He carries those hearts, his jar of hearts. He has my heart, Glenn. He has your heart and you know it and you've been lying to my face this whole damn time. He's a superstar. He's a movie star. He's also charitable. The guy, he was donating things. I saw it on TMZ. <laughs> guy has a heart of gold. And I want to be Brad Pitt. And I know you do too. It was a hell of a closing argument. You are absolutely right. Brad Pitt is the sexiest man alive in two decades. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievably sexy. I can't even wrap my head around how sexy he is. I've modeled my whole look after him, clearly. But guess what? John Stamos is an icon. John Stamos comes in with a sex appeal that existed in decades past. He sends us time traveling every time I see his face. I can't help myself. John Stamos has everything, and I know he has every bit of you, too. That was great. <sighs> and you're right. John Stamos does have my heart. A little tiny, tiny mini door inside of it. Because the rest is covered in pictures of Brad Pitt. You open that door. No. You make that door a little bit bigger. It's locked. There is room for Pitt and Stamos here. <laughs> I mean, I gotta give it to Glenn. He was very convincing. And I definitely wanna go research a lot of things about John Stamos that I won't say here in this room. But I have to say, I think I carry, the, I carry the torch here. That's why I brought Brad Pitt and John Stamos here right now. I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? John Stamos just comes in and knocks you out right now. You bring up so many good arguments in terms of Brad, hmm. but do I find him to be a 90s heartthrob? He didn't guide me into the 90s. John Stamos did. I think we can agree to disagree, and then we'll agree and disagree again. I don't know where we are right now. I don't know who we are right now. My heart's beating so fast right now, just thinking about these two dudes. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, Glenn Powell. It is my pleasure, Joe Jonas. Put her there. <laughs>